Hello, in this video from the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Office of Instructional Technology, I will show you how to quickly get a class list of emails from your Brightspace grades tool. So I am starting in my one of my sandbox courses and I'm going to navigate to my grades tool. I'm going to use the course tools uh, navigation group here and I have my grades tool there. If this is the first time in your grades tool, you'll start in your setup wizard. You can go through this setup wizard. It's not necessary at this time unless you're going to start using the grades tool for grades. Um, if you are simply here to get a list of emails for your students, you'll just go to the enter grades tab. Once in the enter grades uh, tab of your grades tool, you'll click on export. From here, you really don't need to change too many settings. You can leave the key field the same. You can, you don't need to sort. Make sure email is checked. If there are any grades that you have checked off, you can simply select all and then unselect. We're not exporting grades at this time. We really are just interested in the email. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and down here at the bottom, click export to Excel. Once the file is generated, you can click download and it will go to your downloads folder. If you're you know, we're in Chrome, so it should just push it down here to the bottom of your screen. Once it is downloaded, we will open the file from our files area, our downloads area. And here you will see our Excel. So the email, Here you will see your Excel list of student emails. You don't actually get the full email address, but we all know that the um, full email is the student number or the, the uh, username at aacps.org. So I'm going to show you a quick way to add the at aacps.org to the usernames uh, column here. So here you will just type, you'll click on your first, um, click on the cell next to your first student. And up here, you'll type in equals. And then you'll click on your first student to get the cell number B2, then the ampersand, and then quotes, and then at aacps.org those quotes, enter. And you'll see here, it'll give you that um, email address that you're looking for. You can go right back up to that um, email address that was just generated. Grab this little tiny square here in the right-hand corner and pull it down. This will generate the email for each of your students. And there you go. You have a list of emails that you can um, use for um, templates in Adobe and other applications.